Shalom, you stupendous beast. Everyone that's watching now, kisses. But yes, uh, welcome back to episode 25. Bloody hell. Uh, mental, gotta say. Uh, hopefully we can get a, you know, a very good bath. And also we've got bath of the week tonight. Madness. And we're going to see a new winner. We'll find out. But yeah, if you want to skip to Bath of the Week episode 3, uh, the time's on the screen now. If you want to skip to when I start doing the bath review, like, get into it. You just have to wait another 25 seconds. But yeah, uh, I just want to say I've been doing this, you know, I've been, I've been getting a bit of hate recently. But to all the real ones who are watching now, I, love, I, I really love yous. So if you could please like the video. More importantly, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Look at how many people up there still aren't subscribed. Come on, sort it out. If you haven't shared this video already, please do so. And comment for a shout out. So let's have a little gallivant to the bathroom. I can see you. Yes. Come on. Oh, what's that there? Oh, it's like my life crumbling. <laughs> hell yeah, that's hell yeah. Oh. But anyway, we'll just get into this review. We're going to use the uncle. You have to kiss your uncle goodnight. He'll touch you. And we've got Mummy Radox. Again, I feel relaxed. And the muscle soak, which stings your rectum if it has a little slit in. Like a money jar. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, fuck off. Oh. oh yeah, upside down, but you're going like that, are you? Yeah. It's coming out a bit claggy, a bit claggy. Oh, we'll, we'll be all, we'll, but, uh, it's absolutely streaked. There's been a murder in the bath. Mummy's a bit wet, look at it. She's coming out like a champ. She's coming out like a champ. Why is it so claggy? <laughs> Jeez Louise, it's so claggy. Bloody rotted funk in the bottle. Yes, not to worry. Honestly, this looks quite all right. A bit claggy, but bubbleage will be happy. I feel like my content's getting a bit staler now. More staler than the cum sock at the end of my bed. And it's been there since November 2019. Bloody hell, it had so many white Christmases that sock did. But anyway, let's go and see Derek, the diplomat of the bathroom. How you doing, Derek? You all right, my man? What do you think? It's too claggy. Have you been spunking in the bath? Fucking, it's congealed. You don't spunk. Why? Really? Really? Oh, bless. Bless him. <sighs> He's got salmonella. <laughs> Can't believe it. Doesn't your wife have thrush? Oh no, she left you. Ha, ah, fuck you, Derek. But anyway, shenanigan time. Let's get down to dirtiness. <laughs> Diamonds are forever, forever, forever. That's right, this bubble is going to have an absolute explosion. Watch this. It's just fogged up, no explosion. Oh, yeah, absolutely problematic. Yo, you know this bath, you will not see an aftermath. I tell you, my bubble is gargantuous. I tell you, my Radox compilation is ambiguous. Listen to me, listen to me now. I'll tell you, Derek, tell all the women that they are a cow. Just a bit, just a bit off the top of the head. Absolute freestyle. I'm an absolute 
Jeremy Lynch. But look at the bubblage. Oh, over the top. You know, it's been an explosion. You know, my rhymes are sick. My bars are pucker. I tell you, are you a dick sucker? I'm not. I prefer the fudge. But montage time, I'm getting a bit delirious. I'm my to a dim bar, sim bar. I ride the weird thing, kick back. I get paid, you pay a rap. Each stage go eight, then I make a stack. Big bag of flip with a... The BBCC, the Big Bubblage Chiller Crew. Big up to you. But anyway, it's that time of the evening again where we start stripping and get toe dipping. Well, I, are we going to see Canada Goose and Loose? Are we going to see a good lukewarm bath? You all have to find out when it's time. None of those shenanigans whilst we're around here. Come on, let's take the boxes off. All right, boys, I was ready in the shower. But anyway, let me just uh, have a little uh, shake and a boogie before we have a look at the bubblage. Look at that. Some gargantuous. We know now we've always got the bubblage on par. We know we're not done bad there. But let's dip a toe in. Oh, I'm, I'm off to get out. No. Too warm. Too warm. Oh, it's, it's scolding me toes. Oh. Let's try again. Let's dip a toe in. Now that's lukewarm! Thank flipping god. Oh, it's actually a bit too hot still. But I can't be a pushy. Love it back time! Oh. 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 Can of the goose and loose? Of bloody course we do. Sorry about that, people. I'm just. I'm just so fussy. <laughs> I am distraught. That it was too hot and we have to go off our first answer. Oh, this is just so, so disappointing. Oh, let me just show you what's good about this bath. Let me show you the bubbleage at this end. Oh, look, look at it. Absolute Tim Peaks. Oh, man alive. We have got a few shout outs. First one is on the screen now. Ahmed, he was replying to the last video where we shouted him out. Boyo, I am a boyo. Thank you very much. Second one, which is on the screen now, Swifty Games. Thank you very much for the support, my man. Shout out to you. Absolute brilliant. If you want to check out his YouTube channel, go ahead. It is uh, what's on the screen. Like his username will be on the screen, which is what he shouted out on as his channel. And the third and final one, we got a big one from Max McLaren. He bigs me up so much. He really does. He deserves a bit of love, a bit of a. Uh, you know, he's an absolute legend, so big up to you, Max. I'll see you all tomorrow, but for the meantime, the review time. Now on to the bath review. We're sporting, I would call it, the floppy nose. But anyway, or the blob, the blobfish. That sounds better. But yes, what are we scoring this bath? That's what you've come to see. The bubbles. Solid. Solid as per usual. Smells inviting vigorous on the nose on the nasal cavity it's all good in the neighborhood we've got our shoulder blades canada goose and loose remember bubbles overflow in the bath i've got to say what i've got to say it's not a 10 because it can't be episode 23 that was high coverage that was hdmi bubbleage this good combos nine out of ten for the bubbles but the bath itself it was a no-go from the start. Too hot. It was absolutely boiling. It was like the Costa del Bath, I tell you. And I had to forfeit and not go in the bath. First time I took a bit of water out. Made it half lukewarm, but it was still, still piping. And I've got to say, it's a 3 out of 10. Has to be, because it's disappointing, not first time. If it was the second time and we did it the first, it would have been a seven, but it's a three. 12 out of 20. We haven't had a bad score in a long time and that's just not good. But we move, we persevere. Thank you ever so much for the support. And now we have Bath of the Week. Is Kyle gonna get two weeks in a row? Has he even entered? Is it gonna be a new winner? Is it gonna be a girl? Is it gonna be a boy? Or is it gonna be something not specified? We'll find out now. So take it away, Niall. Oh yes, it is time for... 
Bath of the week, yes. We review your bath and review your bubbles with less hassle and troubles. Yeah. Yes, it's time. Episode three of the bath of the week series. We have eight, no, eight entrants this week. Some of them I can't remember the name of who entered them in. So there's going to be a couple that are unknown. But if you know, if, if this is your bath, please let me know. And if you win, you get a shout out. But first of all, we start off with this one. The bath looks clammy. I can't lie. It looks like a a river which has just been hit by a flood. Quite clammy water. <laughs> uh, not using any radox, but I know that is Aldi's own uh, bubble bath. Oh, not good. But the bubbleage does look good. She's still ruined the bath, so it could have some utmost potential. But the thing is, we've added not much. Uh, bubble bath, you still get some subsided bubbleage. Nice little peak. The bubbles get a six out of ten. The bath itself gets a four out of ten. Starting off slow, ten out of twenty. Halfway there, so we're going to the chair. Next one. Now this one, you have to turn your head for this one, and I cannot remember for the life of me who sent this one in. I cannot remember. If you know who it is, drop down below. But this is an absolute healed bath. Someone's been using the Radox Muscle Soap. I'm going to give you an extra point. Don't doubt me. I know my stuff. The bubbleage, not much, but there's a nice little dumpling ball. And I've got to say, it's nice nice and crimson. The bath looks quite turquoise. It looks like the Blue Lagoon. Hopefully you don't die from a dysentery. The bubbles, though, they do get a 7. The bath does get a 7 as well. Add an extra one for the Radox. 15 out of 20, you take the lead, my mate. Next one, check out the bubbles, son. We've got Roddy. Roddy with his knee up. That's some stupendous bubbleage, my man. Ooh. I tell you, the bubbles look brilliant. Breaming, absolute vigorous, maximal, gargantuous. 10 out of 10 for the bubbles. Roddy, absolute legendary. The buff itself. I can't really see the water. That means it's good because you can't see what's been going on. For my misinterpretation, my, my interpretation, I've got to say what I've got to say. I can't see no radox and no extra points. I'm going to say the bath will get a seven. So it's 17 out of 20 though, Roddy. Good on you, my man. Next one. I don't know who is this bath. I actually don't have a clue. Seriously, I don't have a clue. But... Whoever this bath is, it's all right. The bubbles, you can see two forming buns. Nice little peaks are forming there. Some overall bubbles on the sides. The bubbles, they're gonna get a seven. They're gonna get a seven, I think seven. The bath, it's still running. Hopefully nice and lukewarm, but it's your preference, not mine. But if I got off of that bath, I would jump in it without a heartbeat. I'm gonna give the bath itself an eight out of 10, 15 out of 20 joint second place speaking of joints bloody hell Riley what you been smoking it better be candy cigarettes I'm gonna have to knock a point off because you're deteriorating your life it's not a good little bath drugs are for mugs mugs are for tea tea is for me but anyway <laughs> the bubbleage does look a bit calm I think the bubbles have had a bit of that weed it's all relaxed oh I tell you Mummy Radox needs some of that. The bubbles, I'm going to say an 8 out of 10 for the bubbles. The bath, he's saying good little bath. I'll take your word for it. And you know the new second place with an 8 out of 10. 16 out of 20. Not so close. Take the joint away, you would have got a higher score. But that's all right. The next one, we have got Kaylee. Now, Kaylee, what can I say? This bath is overflowed a bit. The bubble is low. Quite sparse in some areas, we can, we can see the water. Nice little peak though. Quite reverberated Alps. Vigorous, hopefully. And is that Radox I see? Is that the Radox I see? No, it's not. It's some shitty brand. Bloody hell. Seven out of 10 for the bubbles. The bath, gotta be a seven. 14 out of 20, oh, I'm going quite fast. Second to last one, we have got Charlotte. Now, is this a charlatan of a bath? I don't think it is. 
some very good bubble heads we can see, but we can see your leg. We don't want you flashing because it's not nice. Clean on me. Rain on me. No Lady Gaga. Bloody hell. I tell you, the bubbles do get an 8 out of 10 for me, in my opinion. The bath itself looks inviting. It looks warm. It looks, you know, tranquil. I'm gonna say an, I'm gonna say a seven. Be conservative, 15 out of 20. And we're coming on to the last one. At the moment, Roddy is winning with 17 out of 20. We've got Shane. Can he beat this? Honestly, this could be anyone's. Looking at the bubbles, you barely can see the bath, which is good. I'm going to have to knock a point because I see blue. I see bath water, but he's been using Radox. So I'm gonna have to give him an extra point. So I'm not gonna knock the point off. I was going to give him a nine out of 10 for the bubbles. He gets a 10, because I'll give him an extra point for the Radox. Now the bath itself. The bath itself. I'm not gonna give it a six. It does look inviting, I would jump in that. Do I give it an eight? Honestly, I'm gonna have to go back to Roddy's. I don't know. Oh. The winner. With 17 points. Is both of them. But we can't have a draw. The winner is Roddy. Roddy gets it. Bath of the week. Episode 3, Roddy, you win my man. It was tight. Shane, big up to you. If you drop me a message, I'll give you a shout out as well because I feel bad on you. But Roddy, you win just by that. And that concludes episode 3. If you want to be a part of it next week, my Snapchat is in the description. Drop me a message and I'll we'll sort some out. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next Sunday. Ciao!